Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, anybody who identifies as anything other than that, it is a true honor, a great privilege, okay? Something that's got me all tender and warm in my loins, all right? <laughs> to introduce to you my sixth guest. She goes by many, many names, all right? She has maybe even more personalities. Uh, she's, she's, she's known as... As arguably the are you the one goat, um, she's she's known as a potential Rushmore candidate of the challenge. We'll see how this season plays out, but we're off to a good start. She's the one. She's the only. She is Miss Tori Deal, and she's here right now. Tori, how the hell are you? Ah, yay! Oh, Dave, it's so good to see you, man. I love seeing your potato face, and it's even better to see you on a mic. That's right, baby. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's talk about potato, Dave. Okay, because yeah. people people need to know. Yeah. It's going to be a recurring theme. I already made the edits of our cast photos and superimposed <laughs> potatoes over our faces. Uh, what's funny is it didn't change them much. No, that's what I'm saying. You would we, still know it was us. Yeah, we are potatoes for sure. So um, Tori's a vegan. All right. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with it. Yes, it does. Because you kept eating. Because the only thing you would eat is potatoes. Okay, but do we, we have to start with Dave. In the oh, first place. I think everyone knows Dave, right? You okay, think yeah, I look okay. like your douchey, fratty ex-boyfriend, Dave. He wasn't uh, my ex, but okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, was he or wasn't he? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I just assumed. I don't know. Um, I look like Dave, but you look also like Dave. So you started yeah. calling me Dave. I started calling you Dave. Now, yeah. Potato Dave, the evolution of Potato Dave. Tori's a vegan and she gets drunk and all she wants to have is uh, it's the only thing she can have. So she would just walk around double fisting spuds. But you know what's funny is like before potatoes, it was Doritos. Remember Spies, Lies, and Allies when I got wasted? Like yep. the first night, there was the night that somebody threw up in a plant. Somebody like shit on the bus. Peed, like, peed on the bus. Okay. We, won't, we won't name drop, but there's someone peed on the bus. Like legitimately peed in one of the seats. So like... <laughs> That night, I remember the next morning, I woke up on the floor and I was like, Dave, like, what like, what did I do last night? You're like, you're fine. You were just asking for Doritos. So like, since being a vegan, it's transitioned from Doritos to, to potatoes, but we, we could have been Dorito, Dave. Well, I don't know if Doritos are vegan. I'd have to check the ingredients. No, they're not. That's okay. why we don't. Yeah, <laughs> they probably, they're, they're putting some <laughs> unnecessary animal product in there for sure. Yeah. Yeah, they're putting something, they're grinding something up and getting it in there. But yeah, yeah. anyways, if you hear us referring to each other as Potato Dave, uh, that is why. Does it make sense? No. Uh, are we interested in it? Yes. Also, <laughs> let's just get this started the right way. Beaver tail. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nailed it. That's another thing. No idea. Wait, can we? I've already like watched the first two, first two episodes. The amount of time we fit in Beaver Tail already. Yeah. It's like, like I don't know how many times we're gonna hit it. But we um, can 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 we talk about the amount of times we called each other Dave while actually being in the elimination? It sounds like yeah. we're saying babe. It's like babe, babe, <laughs> babe, babe. But it's not. It's Dave, Dave, Dave. Dave, <laughs> like it's a mess. I, I was looking, I was thinking about that, and I was like, man, this is really confusing for people. That don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, in the interviews, it's one thing they can be like, okay, so now try to refer to her as Tori because no one knows who Dave is. But right. when we're in the moment, yeah, I'm not. What am I? No, I'm calling you Dave. Right. Yeah. It, it, it is. It, it is bizarre, and it's even more bizarre how we got there. Right. Like, I am firmly under the, uh, I guess, suspicion that Raven and Johnny wanted to, I mean, they told us this. I guess I just believe them. They wanted to work with us. They weren't trying God. to send us down there. No, right. I think no. they wanted to work with us, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and, and instead, they sent us into elimination against our number one team in the game. I know it wasn't great. It wasn't great. No, no, no yeah. it wasn't great at all. Also, there's like one thing that people may not realize is just how far and deep our backs were against the wall because right. Casey and Kenny go out, right? Mm -hmm. we're, and we're, we're wanting to work with them from the jump and probably are going to. I mean, you're close with Casey. I'm close with Casey. Kenny's a great guy. 
Kenny's great. Casey's great. They're out. They're they're out with COVID. Yeah. Right. And then Anissa and James are also out. Yeah. And then we go into elimination against my roommate and your roommate. Yeah. Our top three teams. I know. I mean, no, we were screwed. We were we were fucked. Screwed. I mean, that's why it's hilarious when you see Johnny come in and you're like, you're a sight for sore eyes, buddy. You know? Uh, Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? Because them coming in, I mean, that was like our one opportunity to possibly get like maybe a footing on like building an alliance. And then not to mention you've already like you see Turbo obviously Mm. saying he wants to work with the rookies because he doesn't trust old vets. That's Mm -hmm. what we are. We're weathered old vets. And then, you know, you guys have your moment. Oh, God. Is it possible for me to shut the fuck up? Ever. You didn't do anything wrong. I recognize that, but also could have been avoided by shutting the fuck up. You want to know what? I can't do it. Dude, and you shouldn't. Can't do it. No, you're you're a spicy little whore. We already know this about you. spicy little whore. (laughs) We need you to keep being you, so don't shut up. Yeah, Yeah, I am. And for the record, the joke was funny. So, it was hilarious. Oh, God. And, and, and poignant as well. It's funny because it's true. Um, yeah. Okay, so we get the, elimina- the we get the elimination done pretty quickly. Uh, one thing that wasn't done quickly, and uh, we're a bit off in the timeline here, but you running through the mud. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> whoa, what happened here? Can I don't we- know. What ha- I'm not a mud animal, man. Like... <laughs> I don't belong in it. Like I turn into it's like sludgy. I don't know. It really sucks my body, my body down to the ground. I think it's because I'm bottom heavy. Mm, like it's because of our cannons. It's can yeah. It's like hard for me to like get it up. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I just remember looking over at you and me being the only. And they don't really show this. Like you know. Thank God. I, the whole time I was watching that first episode, I'm like, oh my God. What if what if people realize how bad I am? Because you're. <laughs> You're standing over there done waiting for me and I'm just like in in real time in the mud like ooh, yeah bad. but I mean it was we weren't going that hard in the first one anyways it's really it, it, to be honest yeah. you don't usually want to win the first one it backfired on us um well I guess it didn't backfire but it almost backfired on us uh not winning it but typically you don't want to win the first one if you don't know the rules of the game um right. and then like you're safe but so uh, so is 95% of the house Right. Uh, and a big part of this game is timely wins. So the first one, although it can help you uh, gain leverage, it, it's not always it's not always the best way to go. I also thought of something because now we also call each other Petey or I call mm-hmm. you Petey. So everyone knows Petey stands for Potato Dave. P- right. It's not Pete. P-D. It's not Petey. It's, right, yeah, it's yeah. PD, like a yeah. police department, but Potato I, Dave. <laughs> I feel so bad. There's so many nicknames. Oh, my God. You're Miami PD. Oh my God! Honestly, wow. I should, I, that should be my next my next job. I've pretty much done the other aspect. I've done the crime. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's time to be a professional. Um, I've wait. done the crime. <laughs> I've done I also the crime. need to. I need to back up here for a minute because during your monologue explanation of why you were slow in the mud, uh, you said I'm bottom heavy and I can't get it up, and. Uh, <laughs> I just feel like that's really resonating with a lot of our listeners right now. Male demographic over the age of 50 was like, she gets me. <laughs> so I do my best to try to be universal. <laughs> I really do. You're really sliding right into a new demo here. Here I am. Um, and we're going to get, we're really going to hammer this new demo because you are going to be betting on sports by the end of this podcast. I don't like... I'm so sorry for anybody who's going to pay pay attention to that version of me. I'm not. I'm hammering it. Yeah. <sighs> Dave. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, okay. dude, this is like when someone that goes is like, oh, I don't know how to play blackjack. And then all of a sudden they're up eight grand. You, you're just going to shoot from the hip. You have yeah, no, it, it's yeah. just all vibe. It's just vibe yeah. city. Mm-hmm. Right. Throw it out there. Throw it out there. Um, mm-hmm. Speaking of vibe city, mm-hmm. change gears here a little bit. We have curated quite the vibe uh, to to much to the dismay of uh, a lot of yeah. and a lot of challenge viewers with our 
with our trips to Mexico. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Honestly, they're haters. They're jealous. People want to be with us in Mexico. We know that. Well, we know that now because they're all asking to come. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We know the cast members want to go because they're asking to come. But you, yeah. this was kind of a this was a you this was a you situation. You are you are the curator. You are the ringleader of of the Mexico trips. You are you are uh, receiving your or should be the recipient of almost all the credit of the last two seasons major alliances and and that obviously brought us to ride or die this was this was you you are the vacation queen wow okay well first of all anisa would fucking hate me if you said that because she actually planned the first one and then had to go so then i wasn't there though okay so then i took over and then yes i am the one who gets everybody's emails and i send the itineraries and i organize everything um but yeah like i mean think about it that's like when me and you got we were always friends and then we got like really close because mm-hmm. like you know in mexico lawnmowers in the morning you know partying all night you get close to people you get close to people that's yeah. true you, you uh, get close. You, that that is true we've seen it happen time and time again i watched some things unfold with josh that i just never thought i would see we're not going to go into details, but I mean, that kid is another one who's like, I wasn't sold on him. We go to Mexico. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this kid's a fucking man. He's, He's great. He's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And shout out to Anissa too. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, to, uh, to, to steal that one from her, but she couldn't go yeah. to the first one. We had to, yeah. we had to, we had to, uh, we had to persevere without God. our fearless leader. And you stepped right into the, uh, into the captain role and nailed it. And it has changed the landscape of the game, yeah. to be honest. It helped. I mean, it helped a lot for me, at least. I was I was double agents. Your boy was in a bad spot there, Uh, and then we go into spies, laws, and allies, and all of a sudden everything's different. What's the common denominator? Mexico. (laughs) I'm thinking. Yeah. I mean, are we gonna go back? Fuck yeah! But we're not gonna go to Mexico. We gotta like up the ante. Mm. We're going somewhere else. Yeah, someone more, somewhere more dangerous. Yeah, where more whores are. Yeah, <laughs> where I can yeah. really release my inhibitions. Yeah, feel the rain on my skin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. And by rain, I mean oh, oh, potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. I'm not sure where I was going with that. <laughs> oh God, I yeah. hated that. <laughs> yeah, no, that was nobody but- liked that. <laughs> No, no one was interested in that. I really shouldn't Gross. have said it. Shouldn't have said it at all. Uh, speaking of feeling the rain on your skin, let's talk about OnlyFans. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's a good trans, a quick transition. Um, children's book author. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, to what are you? To probably top point uh, one percent of all creators on OnlyFans. You yeah, gotta, you got to be up there. Yeah. Because I'm in the to- I'm in the top percent, and you've got a way better ass than me. No, I uh, don't. Yeah, you do. It's for the record, and I don't know why this if people are into this. Terrible cheeks. I oh, just shut up. abysmal. Um, not afraid yeah. of them, but they're not I, great. I'm. What did you say? Point one. I, mean, you're, I said you're probably point uh, inside point one. You're probably point oh seven if I had to guess. A point oh five. Point oh five. Yeah. That is ridiculous. So just so people recognize what this means. It means that not only is Tori an absolute badass challenger and a, a children's book author and just a fucking creative person in general, but she's also a top 0.05% OnlyFans worker, right? Thank you. Boss thank you so bitch vibes like, from my you. ride or die. Like, thank you. You know what? You inspired me to make the OnlyFans. Tell them about it. Talk to Tell yeah. us your origin story, please. Like, honestly, I was just like sitting outside cold and frozen <laughs> and you came up to me and you were like, you don't have to be a broke whore. You can be a rich whore. And I was like, that's so inspirational. So that's when you told me about OnlyFans and you told me how well your cheeks were doing. And I sold, but I started selling my Bode. Yeah. Was that, did you say body or booty or Bode? My Bode. Your Bode. Okay. What, so it's a cross. It's a, it's a my body it's your body <laughs> my bow i started selling my body <laughs> excuse me 
<laughs> We've gone completely off the rails here. Uh, <laughs> but also, so the, the only reason I bring that up is because we did attempt twice now to have an OnlyFans alliance. I, I, I only want to work with people that sell photos of their cheeks. That's me. Yeah, so good. How, how can I? How can I trust you if you can't trust yourself? It's so good. Yeah. It's really good, and I also agree with that. And that's why we've been like really pressuring our friends who don't have OnlyFans to start one. Get We're one, like, hey. so I can trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Sell your Bodie. Sell your Bodie. So that I know that you have fear of bling, being blackmailed so I can trust you. <laughs> Everyone's like, uh, dude, chill. We are getting fired from MTV after this for sure. No, I don't think so. I think they're interested. I think this is what keeps them coming back, to be honest. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah maybe, I think maybe. this is what keeps them coming back. Uh, we'll get out of that. We'll get back into the episode, though. Let's talk about the first challenge. Let's talk about some of the rookies. Let's talk about... Raven and Johnny with a big victory right off the rip. Decent cast of rookies. I said in our little video I wasn't impressed. And I've seen stronger crops. Uh, I think the Spies, Lies, and Allies rookies were were stronger. Um, you know, Emmanuel, Logan, Emmy. Um, there were there were some legitimate heavy hitters in there. But this is uh this is you look around, you look at Johnny, you look at Raven, you look at uh Norris, you look at uh Horacio, um Solid, solid, right. solid, solid across the board. Olivia gets thrown in there. Um, I know Annalise was a Division One soccer player, so it did seem to me that it was a little bit more stacked on the female side. While well, you were sizing up the new female rookies, what was your kind of first impression? I mean, Raven was, to me, obviously she wins the first challenge with Johnny, but, like, she's stacked. You see her body? She's just, like, so fit. And so, like, as a woman, you're sizing up these girls because you're like, who's going to, like, be able to, like, outweigh me or wrestle me or, like, pull me in a tug of war? You just don't know. So, like, Raven, to me, it was like, she's – I had to keep my eye on her, but they wanted to work with us. So that was mm -hmm. – until it didn't work out. But they did want to. Funny way of going about it, Raven and Johnny. <laughs> didn't really – hey, you're going to yeah. have to put four teams in. We can't tell you anything except all those four teams are going to have to wear their uniforms. Right. Uh, okay, maybe don't put us in. Right, I know. That didn't go well, though. Um, no. And then we had, of course, we were down there with Laurel and Jack and then Kim and Colleen, another okay. pair – Another pair of, well, three three rookies and one more pair of true rookies in Kim and Colleen. Um, I did not know what to expect from them. What was your initial vibe? Because I couldn't read them. Um, well, I think that, like, obviously I had heard the rumors going around that Colleen was not from Love Island like she was saying she was. So then we find out she's from the mole. Mm. And... Like, obviously, you molly, watch molly, us molly, ask. Molly, molly, molly. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> quote from Austin Powers. Leave me alone. Is it from Austin Powers? Yeah. Molly, 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 molly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guy's got a mole on his face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So, Colleen and her mole. Yeah, so she, I don't know. I, I didn't know how to feel about them. But then, obviously, after their speech, they're like, you know, like, protect the rookies. Dude, we were fucked. We were fucked. All right. And that when we had to go in there, but at least you had that game. Like what what is what is this talk about you having that that game as your coffee table? I don't understand. Yeah, they could they took it from my house. No. Yeah, that's actually my coffee table. Okay. <laughs> I want you to really It's tell in me. my room and every day I wake up and I make one of the neighbors <laughs> I make one of my neighbors sit on the other <laughs> podium and I play the game against them. Every day when I wake up. Duh. I hate you. Okay, no. Do you have like a smaller version of it? I've played a smaller version of it of just like, but not with the balancing, obviously. It's like everyone knows yeah. that little game, right? It's like that handheld game where you have to get the balls out of the thing. And the, and the best way to do that, our strategy was fucked initially. We were trying to go yeah. all five at once, um, which yeah. doesn't allow you to really – you know, focus on one. So they kept, we were getting kept, we were going backwards instead of forwards. The strategy there and, and what dawned on us halfway through is like, you just got to focus on one at a time because as you're moving one through the maze, the other ones are naturally figuring out their way out of the center. 
So you're making progress with all of them as you're focused on one. Uh, and once we got that, I mean, what did it end up? It ended up being five one. Yeah. So it, it, once once we had that, it was uh, it was it was kind of a wrap. But if we can't beat a newlywed couple in a communication game, we're fucked. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was on. necessary. I and uh, I think that, you know, it's very evident when you watch us perform that like we have we we are going to make a good team because I, I get a little I'm freaking out. I need my mom. And you're like, Dave, cram it. You know, like <laughs> like you, we talk to each other. I mean, it's just hilarious. So like the, it's just very clear from the very beginning when we had that first elimination that like, OK, we're going to work well together for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, we already know this. We already know this. We do this. We do already know this and we do already do this. Um, yeah. we, we, I think we've only been partners for two challenges and we won one of them. No, leading we up to this emerald emerald. Well, yeah, but I mean, partners, not oh. not teammates, right? Yeah, teammates, yeah. teammates, I think is actually easier. Um, I prefer a, a larger team. Being with yeah. being with one person, if so, it's perfect with you because we understand each other. But like, there were some of the partnerships that I looked at walking into the game, and I was like, "This isn't gonna work," just because like your vibe uh, as competitors is so different. Right. And and it was like you're gonna have to, like, one of you is gonna have to seriously turn the volume down on your personality in order to match the other person's energy. We didn't really have that issue. This was more of like a. Um, you just kind of, you do, we said it initially, our, our one rule is no leash. So it's just like, just right. let it, just let it fucking go. And that's, yeah. that was one of our big advantages. I think going into this was like, um, just not, not wanting to, uh, control the other one at all. Yeah. But I mean, that's, that comes with experience. Like, and both of us also having our own name in the game. Like mm -hmm. you see people like Tamara and Turbo, Turbo's the one with the name. So correct. Tomorrow's going to take his lead. Laurel and Jack. Laurel's the one with the name. So even though Jack, like, obviously has his own mind, speaks what he says, what he wants, love him. But, like, for sure, Laurel is the the leader of the team. Yeah. That so, was interesting to watch the, the dichotomy between, like, the vet vet pairs that weren't us, like Jay and Michelle, who yeah. I know are, are close, but I don't think they haven't played the game together ever. So they're, like, real life close. They're not challenge close. Right. Um, what's your initial take on that? on that pairing um you know i always kind of question jay and michelle just because i've never actually worked on them so like i mean with them on them what am i doctor yeah i think jay and michelle are, <laughs> i think jay and michelle are are good like they're smart also i kind of have this thing where i'm like michelle's already one survivor mm. and i couldn't like imagine somebody beating me in the challenge that's already one survivor that's only done it two seasons. So in the back of my mind, ego would have gotten the best of me eventually. Right. Yeah. That is tough when someone wins a different show and then they yeah. come on and try to win this one. I've, uh, I've faced a lot of heat with that, with being the champion of second chances. Oh, um, really? Yeah, yeah. Cause that's such a popular show that when I came first came <laughs> onto the challenge, everyone was like, dude, we're not, we got to watch out for this guy. Cause he did win second chances. So like, if he comes on, that and wins, did like, not happen. Yeah, for sure. That happened. Definitely. That happened. That's the way I remember it. <laughs> yeah, that happened for sure. It's just, it's pretty much like, it's the same thing as winning survivor or big brother in everyone's minds. Is that what it is? Yeah. I think that's what, I think that's why a lot of people didn't want to work with me initially. Oh, right. Because you're a cha okay. That makes sense. Because so I was already sense. a champion of, of, yeah. of a different show. Yeah. Huge show. Big, biggest show <laughs> ever. Biggest, are you the one spinoff ever? Yeah. First and only. <laughs> you know, it was so big. It was so big that there wasn't room enough for two. Yeah. Because it's still to this day huge. They had to cut it. Yeah. You can get it. You can't even watch it anymore. They pulled it off air. Have you seen the clips from that on YouTube where I'm chasing you around with yeah. Geo sweater and you bash your head? Yeah. You were like 600 pounds of solid steel muscle smashing the floor. About 185, a rock solid man. Yeah. That's what you said. Hit yeah. it. Hit it at Mach five. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. what you said. Yeah. Twisted yeah. steel. I'm going to need those clips to start recirculating. They, well, we, we can certainly do it. That, that was, 
God, to and I say, and I say this at the in the in pretty much all the interviews, I want, really want to drill this soundbite home. Needed it to get in there, right? Enemies, frenemies, friends, yeah. ride or yeah. dies. The evolution, our evolution, uh, yeah. to get to the point that we're at is unmatched. I don't think uh-huh. there's another. I don't think there's another pair in this game that has faced all phases of a uh, relationship in general, right. just like a human relationship, right? Because a lot of people are like, oh, we started off as friends. Well, we didn't. So like mm-hmm. we've seen each other on on both sides. We've seen both areas and then gotten to know the other one and decided we're going to be friends. It wasn't like some short-sighted thing. It was like a legitimate decision on both of our parts. Yeah, yeah. Well, I feel like I kind of forced you to be my friend. No. It it feels like a little like that. Like I was like, you know what? You he forced me? Not forced you, but like I feel like I was the one that was really like we're friends. Now I feel used. Now I don't Yeah, I've been using you this whole time. Now I don't want to be friends at all. I lured you in when I showed you my hole. Oh uh, god. <laughs> don't don't start that again. That was also on Second Chances. What? Yeah. That was. Yeah. My dad was running for Congress and I was blacked out. And I just, I don't know. We're just like filming. We're drunk one night and I just bend over and I'm like, look at my asshole. My dad's running for Congress. And I think you were just right down the barrel, like maybe like 20 feet behind me. This is exactly how it happened. <laughs> This is, exactly, Sorry, Dad. this is exactly how it occurred. And uh, there's, I mean... Yeah, that's well. I guess we'll just nip that in the bud right there. That's a true story. We'll just say we'll, we'll just say that. That is not. That's a true story. Uh, and uh, and Morgan can vouch for that. Um, we are we're right at about uh, uh, that the twenty eight minute mark here. That thirty minute mark where we're gonna start to transition to sports gambling here, Dave. Thank God. Okay. I've been waiting my whole life to do this. We've covered we've covered the challenge. Um, we have obviously covered some other topics i'm not sure (laughs) for better or worse (laughs) i don't know uh you're gonna pick some football games here okay all right we're gonna talk about the nfl and uh and we're gonna talk about some teams i'm gonna give you just some mascots okay because i think that's probably the best way to do it and you are going to pick these games based on their mascots cool and we're gonna have you do three okay Okay. we're gonna have you do one game on thursday Mm -hmm. we're gonna have you do one game on sunday Mm. and we're gonna have you do one game on monday because there's only one game on monday so (laughs) with that being said Uh first game thursday night football Mm. commanders Mm. or bears I'm putting myself in the the arena and I'm visualizing myself as a commander. Wow! <laughs> God damn it, she's picking the commanders. Is that bad? <laughs> uh, well, no one knows. I mean, the Bears stink too. It's the Tory Deal parlay. She's got the commanders. Okay. I don't know. I, I saw I saw I saw a colonial man. Is that a commander? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm putting okay. myself in the arena and I'm seeing myself <laughs> as a colonial man. <laughs> so I'm going with the commanders. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Uh, oh, you want to know what? We're going to do all prime time. This is good because uh, I have a feeling I know where you're going to go with this one. Cowboys, Eagles. Come on. Come on. I'm from South Jersey. Philly all day. Eagles all day. Fletcher Cox is dating my best friend. I was about to say, don't you have a Fletcher Cox connection? He's, he's dating my best friend. Mm-hmm. Fire it up. Hashtag Dude, Fletcher. They're, shout out they're, Fletcher. They're, yeah, shout out Fletcher. And hold on. Don't you have another friend that plays in the, in the NFL? He was at your birthday uh, Demir, party? Yeah, yeah, Demir. Where's he play right now? Ugh, I'm not a good friend. I don't remember. Ooh, hate to hear it. Uh, Demir Bird, though, he used to play for the Pats. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take his props this week too, just because you were on this. Uh, you were on this yeah. podcast. Okay, so we've got Commanders. Oh, he plays for Atlanta. Atlanta. Ooh, mm. excellent. Um, they have got an interesting matchup. 
And they're playing a Niners team, but it's in Atlanta. And the Niners defense is solid, but I'm still going to take Bird props. So we're going to do that as well. Final game, Monday night, primetime football. Broncos, Chargers. Mm. Let me put myself back in the arena. Yeah, get back in there. <laughs> Broncos. <laughs> I knew. I knew it. Did I you? Knew, I knew it. Why? You saw me as a horse? <laughs> I, I saw you see yourself as a horse. <laughs> what goes with the commander? What goes with the colonial man? A horse. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. There's an eagle flying overhead. Probably yeah. you have an eagle on your on your yeah, arm. You're riding a horse as a colonial man. I mean, it, yeah. it does all go together. We need to make that yeah. image. Yeah. Um, so here's the Tory deal parlay. It's Broncos plus five and a half. All right. It is. We're going to just give you Eagles money line, Eagles money line, and then commanders money line. All right, so you need the Eagles and the Commanders to win the event, and you need the Broncos to lose the event by five or less or win the event. Mm. So you got a little wiggle room with the horses. Okay. Uh, I'm just doing some quick calculation here. We got two of them at minus 110. Uh, In the other, it's probably going to be right around minus 240. So I'm going to say that's going to get us in in the plus two... 30 ish range, which means you bet 100, you'll win 230. Uh, I'm going to absolutely hammer it. Go math. Go math and go sports, baby. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how close I am on that, but uh, it'll be close. It'll be close. I'm excited. Yeah. You go to a lot of birds games too, don't you? I'm going to the one this weekend. You're going to be there. Yeah. I'm going to be there. Wow. In the stadium. Yeah. Yeah. In the arena. As a colonial woman is on a horse. (laughs) You got to get one of those little horses that kids have. Uh, you know the ones I'm talking about? It's on like a broomstick. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, and a hat, and a, and a colonial hat. Easy, it's a wrap. And then wear that. Yeah, and yeah. have my eagle on my arm. And then you'll have an eagle on your arm, which mm. is which is lit. Yeah, you're kind of like um, you're kind of like the cool version of Jackson Mahomes because you're at because you're at the games making content. But mm. n- not everybody hates you. So that's Thank good. You. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. We talked about <laughs> Wes with that. Yeah. Uh, mm. We're also going to get the Tory Deal Super Deal. The, the Super Deal. Wow. The Super Deal. We're going to get the Tory Deal Super Bowl pick. Okay. Oh. I have a feeling I know where you're going to go with this, but I just want to hear you say it. Yeah. The Eagles. To win the Super Bowl. The Eagles. The Eagles to win the Super Bowl. I'll take it. In, in, they're gonna win if they're in the Super Bowl. We're going somewhere, no matter who we're, they're playing. I'm rooting going for the to Eagles. the Super Bowl. Oh wow! Should we go to the Super Bowl? Oh, yeah. oh shit! We probably yeah. could go. We could. Wow! You heard it here first. We're going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> if the Eagles are in, we're going. That's how quickly it happens here, folks. Yeah. On yeah. bet on Devin. Yeah. Um, Tori, you're outstanding. I love you so much. You're a, a, a true light in a lot of people's lives and inspiration and just a badass bitch all around. Oh, thank so. you so much. I'm so happy my whole can inspire people. That's really. right. That's right. <laughs> and you said, so you see my uh, Instagram post the other day. Someone told me, uh, that <clears throat> my, my content has gotten them through dark days. Yes, I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. My <laughs> cheeks. My full moon has, has has lit the way through the midnight sky and gotten uh, them through dark days. That's really sweet. Yeah, that's really You're, sweet. Um, yeah. Well, I'm sure everybody already knows, but go ahead and throw your Instagram out there so people that don't know do know so they can follow the, the person whose parlay they're tailing. Uh, yes, guys. If you believe in what I believe in and you see me as a colonial woman on a horse, on a with an eagle on my arm you can follow me at tori underscore deal and if this goes really wrong i'm super sorry um i'll give you a free subscription to my only fans (laughs) you you heard it here first you want to know what there's a lot of people prove your bet slip prove that you that you that you followed the tori deal parlay and uh you know she's uh you might send you a free week yeah she said she'll send you a seven day discount okay (laughs) So it's really a win-win at this point, you know. You either win the bet or you get a seven-day discount. Um, <laughs> that, this was you, not me. Uh, moving on, 
again, you've been outstanding. We love you. Thank you for being here. It's episode six. It's Bet on Devin. It's Potato Dave. It's Miami PD. It's the one and only Tory Deal. You've been outstanding. Thanks, babe. Love you so much. You're my angel of God.